In the last Mutation Variety video, we've talked about the recessive pied budgie. In today's video, we are going to talk about the dominant pied gene in budgies, which is a totally different gene, although the names pied are the same. But that's just because the effect they do on budgies' physical appearance. The dominant pied gene, as the name suggests, it is enough to get it from one parent to appear in the offspring. If you forgot what dominant means, watch my Punnett Square video, where we explain the difference between recessive and dominant genes. The dominant pied gene symbol is capital P. P stands for pied. However, the dominant pied has two forms. One form is called a single factor dominant pied, and it is when the child gets this gene only from one parent. The other form is called double factor dominant pied, and it is when the child gets the gene from both parents. Before we dig any deeper into the genes and the Punnett square of this gene, let's see how these two forms appear on budgies. Let's start with the single factor dominant pied. You will find that this form can appear in two different ways. One form is called the banded pied, and it is easily recognizable. As the name suggests, you will see a ring of the base color at the middle of your budgie's body, or a band if you will. The band is white in white based budgies, and yellow in yellow based budgies. And the second is called the Australian Pied. The budgie appears to have irregular pied patches that are scattered across its body. In both forms, you can see a pied patch as well on the back of the head of your budgie. So, the single factor dominant pied gene removes the pigmentation from the budgie's body color up to 50%. That's why we see the base color of budgies with this mutation. Now let's see what double factor dominant pied does. Starting with the pied patch that is on the back of the head of your budgie, it gets much larger. It almost removes all the color of your budgie, leaves it with the base color, except on some little places like around the neck, rump, and between the wings. Some of them will still have a little bit of their body color around the chest and abdominal area. Now that we understand the difference between single and double factor dominant pied, let's see other features with this variety. Most of the dominant pied budgies, their tail is the base color, meaning either yellow or white. Their eyes are normal black with iris ring when they mature. And the sear is normal sear, which means deep blue in males, and tan blue white or brown in females depending on their condition. However, if the pied affects the sear of the male, then you will find that male sear is a mix of pink and blue. Basically, the easiest way to understand the dominant pied variety. Pied means it removes the melanin out of the affected area. That's why in all the pied mutations we see pied patches on the wings of the budgies as well. So if we look back to the single factor dominant pied, that means it can either affect the middle of the body in case of the banded pied budgie or it can affect the body on random places like the Australian Pied Budgie. In Double Factor Dominant Pied, it will affect almost all your budgie's body. And that's why you only see a little bit of color here and there. And of course, the same principle is applied to their sear. If it gets affected by the pied gene, that's why you will see the male have a mixture of pink and blue. 
Pink is the part of the sear that got affected by the pipe gene, and blue is where it didn't get affected. Now let's dive into genetics. The easiest way to see all the different outcomes this gene can have is by bringing two parents, both single factor dominant pied, into the Punnett square. When we arrange the genes, we can see that 25% of the children will be double factor dominant pied, 25% of them will be normal budgies, and 50% of them will be single factor dominant pied, just like their parents. And that's it! Now you are pro! And you can go look at any budgie and immediately know if it is a single factor dominant pied, double factor dominant pied, or if it doesn't have the gene at all. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. For more about budgies, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are watching this video from YouTube and hit the bell icon to get notified when the next video is up. Or like the Facebook page if you are watching this video from Facebook.